Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are on this beautiful planet Earth of ours. This is Doc Skinner with 1028 Live. It is Saturday. Today is it? Saturday the 6th. Golly, the month is just flying by, right? It is the 6th, right? Can't be the 6th. Six days already? Oh, oh, it's the 5th. Yeah, I was looking at the... <laughs> How are you? I hope you're all having a great weekend. Hope your new year has been good so far. Um, I have something really cool to talk to you guys about. Um, I have so many new friends in the past few months that probably aren't aware that I have several, several projects that I work on all at once. Um, and one of them is the movie industry. Yes, we're um, uh, bringing movies up here. Not not just me. There's there's a, there's a core team of us that are doing it. Um, you have the, uh, 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 let's see, we got Teddy and Lainey and, and their family over at the WME theaters. We have Martina and Darren Webster at Darmar Productions. Um, uh, we have, um, Angela, she's one of the film resource coordinator over in Springerville. We've got, uh, Jesse, um, who's, who's working over at the WME theater, but he's also doing scripts and we're going to be filming movies. Wow. We got a lot of people coming on board tonight. Oh, who do we got so far? We've got, uh, Violet. Hi, how are you doing? Steve? Uh, uh, we got, uh, <laughs> we got, uh, Grant, we got Violet and seven others. We got Renee, Billy, Jesse, Charles, Stephanie. Um, where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, Monica, Cindy, Chuck, Stephanie, TJ, Philip, or F Philippe, or, F yeah, Phil Phil Philippe, um, and Billy, and then hi, TJ. So yes, 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 movies. We're going to talk about movies just for a little bit because, you know, I, I got to go to work in a bit. So um, really, really stoked about this. If you guys aren't aware, um, we had our first ever Sholo Film Festival uh, in October, and it was four days of just awesomeness. Um, most, most, almost, almost all film festivals that I'm aware of are, are lucky if they get three movies on their first year. We had 51, that's five and a one, 51. Um, I mean, it was awesome. We had four theaters and we actually had it in a movie theater. Most, most of them don't do that, but we got coming up this October. 11th through the 7th, or excuse me, uh, the 17th through the 20th, I was thinking last year's dates, uh, we have the Sholo, or Sholo and White Mountains Film Festival, and it's going to be awesome, it's going to be just as big, and ooh, what's happening to my wall, um, and really, really excited to be a part of that, and because of that, that was, that was the bait to, 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 to help these um, people in Hollywood go, hey, look, we got a new location that's never been used. It's, it's it's a whole bunch of location. It's a whole mountain. So come on up, bring your films, and experience the mountain. And let me tell you, they all fell in love with every one of you up here, just like I, I told them they would. And I'm uh, thank you. Thank you for being so warm-hearted and welcoming to, to them while they're up here. And this year will be even bigger and better. Um, but because of that, now... These, these film companies want to come up here and film. So here's the big news, everybody. I told you my goal, it's a goal, and I hope to reach it, uh, hopefully with everybody's help, but I would like to provide 500 jobs in five years to people here on the mountain. I'm not talking full-time 40 hour a week careers or anything like that, uh, I'm not that good. Um, but I would like to at least provide you with some part-time work here and there, some fun work, doing some great stuff, like some of the stuff you see in the background. You know, there's so many different positions uh, involved. This is just what's right right around the camera, okay? You've got other people. you got you got people in, in finance and, and, and writing, um, artists, uh, 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 you know, builders and contractors, electricians, light people, uh, camera people. Um, you've got caterers, you've got PAs, production assistants, you've got uh, drivers, security, um, uh, location scouts. I mean, there's so many jobs and so many of you out there have these skill sets. Yes. Just because you've never been in the entertainment industry doesn't mean you have the skills to work in the industry. Okay. You can do that. Even if you're an attorney. You can be in the entertainment industry. They need entertainment lawyers all the time. St uh, teachers, you have students on set. You have, by law, you've got to have a teacher on set 
um, uh, to to work with the students, you know, or the children when they're not filming. Um, uh, you know, advocates. There's there's so many positions and so many people up here. Painters, artists, tattoo people, um, venue owners, restaurants, owner, uh, waiters. I mean, everything up here can be utilized in the movies or TV and film. And this isn't like your know, friend Bubba going, hey, I got my dad's video. Just came over and make a movie. You want to come? Well, what's pet nothing? Get a bag of chips and a Gatorade. Okay. So that was the holding the camera, by the way. I don't have any muscle, right? I need to work on that this year. Anyway. All right. So um, it's very, very exciting. And being the uh, film commissioner, or not film commissioner, sorry, <laughs> film resource coordinator uh, in the White Mountains, um yeah it's it's going to be a blessing to finally hire you now what this this video is all about is not just that i want to tell you about a facebook page that has been set up for a while now and let's see production coordinator yes production coordinator is a job that they're going to need um cool beans what's up doc uh just make sure i don't want y'all to think i'm not paying attention hey doc the, uh, the film festival is working yes um Let's see what else. Any other messages? That's it. Just a lot of hellos. All right. So here's the thing. If you would like to work in the industry and make some extra cash on the side, doing something really, really fun that you can take your friends to the movie. And when the credits are rolling, you go, that's me. Okay. Believe me, it's a lot of fun. Okay. So this is all you got to do. This is all that you have to do. On Facebook, go to, and it's pretty simple. Let me, oh, let me open this, close this real quick. Go to. Or search the White Mountain Talent and Production Group. Okay, that was a page I set up a while back. And what I want this page to be is be the White Mountain Hub. Okay, so that when these film companies come up here and they say, we're going to need a second AC, a cameraman, we're going to need makeup, we're going to need a, a, a wardrobe person, we're going to need trailers, we're going to need, you know, blah, 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 blah. I can go to the White Mountain Film and Production Group and I can see who our members are and see what their skill sets are because, you know, hopefully we'll have categories and groups and subgroups and whatnot. And when the time comes, that's that'll be a call sheet, which means I'll know, OK, I can call this person, this person, this person. This is the drone operator. Here's the makeup artist. Um, here's your extras. Here's your stunt guy. Here's your fire chief to help with the pyro uh, scene. Um, it's just, just go to a movie or watch a movie at home. Look at the credits. Look at some of these, how many people are involved in making a movie. It's not just the stars and the celebrities and the cameraman, and the director and the producers. They are very, very important. They are, they are so vitally important, but every person's role is important. It's a well-oiled machine and it takes a lot of people. So. Hopefully, you, those of you who have ever wanted to do that, now is your chance. You don't have to go to California. Nothing against California. Love my friends in California. But this is for people up here that don't, that can't leave. Um, maybe you have to stay here because you have, you know, family or, or, you know, kids or something and, and, and you need to stay here. But you've always desired, you wanted to be a writer or a director or producer or um, you wanted to do a soundtrack. I mean, there's so many opportunities just for one movie or one TV show. And think about it. We're going to have multiple projects that are going to be coming up here. Okay. I, we got big plans. We got big plans for this mountain. Now, granted. And I've mentioned this hundreds of times. There's everybody that comes up here knows the idea is to keep it the way it is. We're not bringing up a bunch of yuppie apartment complexes and all that. No, 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 no. This is still going to forever be the number one log cabin community or rental. What's the title? You know what I'm talking about. We're the bomb. We, we rock. I mean, this mountain rocks. That's why they want to come. So, um, so jobs, folks, jobs, money. Um, maybe not full-time careers, but they could. You might find something new. Construction workers, I, I, that's the first one I go to because you always need sets built. Okay, if you can build a house, you can build a set. If you can run lights, you can run lights for a set or for a photo shoot, something, okay? Uh, photographers, they need people to do behind-the-scenes footage at, on movies. When you're watching um, the behind-the-scenes, who do you think's filming all that? 
if you look in the credits, you'll see that there's behind the scenes cameramen or photographers. So even those uh, uh, publicity shots, uh, marketing, uh, radio advertising, it, there's nothing, I mean, it's all connected and it's a new industry. It's something fresh up here. It's something new. It's exciting. Um, it's just, it's, it's been, I've loved, I've loved it. I've loved doing it all my life. And, um, I want to see people with a little more money in their pocket up here on the mountain. I'm focused on the mountain. I'm sure people are watching this all over the world, but I'm talking about my community. And that's what I, that's the whole point. Me, Martina, uh, Jesse, um, uh, Teddy and her family, uh, at the movie theater, uh, you know, you got your local pillars of our, our community. You've got Birdman and his wife um, with Birdman Media. You've, you've got the local radio stations. Um, you've got uh, the newspaper. You've got um, the Maverick magazine. You have uh, uh, Bosley uh, over at the poor station. You've got, uh, you know, my, my brother, Evan Lear over at the lodge and, and so many other businesses. I can't think off, off, off the top of my head. A community of people that really pull together. And I'm so, so honored to, to be a part of this mountain community. I love, I love each and every one of you. And, um, uh, you know, I don't have wife and kids or girlfriend or anything like that. So my way of giving back um, is, is, is to you guys. So if I can bring jobs up here and some fun, some excitement, uh, then that, that's always been the goal of 1028 and educate like with disclosure con and, and, and 1028 live. Um, and while I got y'all right here, I'm just going to mention this real quick. If you guys aren't aware of, uh, the different projects that are going on, let me just tell you some of them, you know, we got 1028 productions on Facebook as well as youtube.com forward slash 1020 productions. We can see all of the videos that, that I do, the commercials, the show, um, just everything. Um, and then eventually I do also have the white mountain model brigade that hopefully see how life works out this year. would love to bring them back, uh, and bring, or, you know, you can get a whole new group of girls too, um, and start doing some promotion modeling with them. Uh, then I have something that's, so big I, it's it's not public yet but i've got a bunch of pages set up and this event is going to be taking place at the uh, Sholo airport when the time comes for it to happen this is going to be like a two-year project and involve either a major um uh movie network you might say tv series movie network thing let's we'll leave it at that um <clears throat> and then the poor my, my, my poor show the big reveal it's been it's been trying to get off the ground for for two years now, but it eventually will happen. Um, that's where all the crazy uh, UFO, alien, Bigfoot stories I, I posted are there. And then we have the MUFON Sholo chapter. So if you've ever uh, been involved in the MUFON community, we now have a chapter here run by David Loomis, who's the uh, 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 he's got a long title. He's the boss for, <laughs> for the mountain office, and. Um, uh, we want to do eventually move on uh, Sholo TV, where we do interviews and stuff with locals that may have had sightings and whatnot. So we're pretty excited when the time comes for that. But um, everything happens in his time, not my time. So I just have a lot of coals in the fire. And then, of course, Disclosure Con 2019. And I've got to start working on the website and the Facebook page for that. And then... Um, of course, the White Mountain Talent Production Group, which I told you about, I, I've sent out invites. I hope that you all join. I hope that you can um, uh, private message me your your you know personal contacts, email, and phone numbers, so that when the time comes and what you do, what what, what your job would be, or what you would like to do. Um, PAs, production assistant, is a good position if you've never done anything on set um, and you're not really a construction or electrician or makeup or and you want to just kind of learn. Um, I wouldn't say it's the, uh, the bottom of the total. Bowl. It's one of the actually most, one of the most important things because they help keep things running smoothly. Uh, it's a gopher position, but you get to work with the actors. You get to do things, and then there's stand-in positions. If you happen to look like one of the main actors, and you're the same height, same hair color, uh, that's called a stand-in position. So when 
it takes them sometimes hours to set up a shot and they need to get the lights just right, but they're not going to have the actors stand under those lamps for long periods of time while instead they're in their trailers doing their lines. You would be that person that would stand in their place. It's called a stand-in. So that's a good paying job too. And um, what else? It's It can open up other opportunities. I myself, every time I was on set, and I'll tell all of you this, this is my little key key to the kingdom in a sense. Whenever you're on a set, one, always be good to everybody you meet. You never know who you're talking to. And they're always going to be above you. Two, when you've done a task and, and, and you're sitting around, don't leave that area. But maybe maybe the next day, if you're not working that next day or something, ask somebody else, hey, what is it you do? Oh, you're a camera guy. Well, could, could you teach me what you know? I mean, they're not going to teach you everything, but it's a start. And that's how I got my – that's how – you know, my whole life was every, everything I did. I started off on the Batman stunt show as a stage tech and ended up driving the Batmobile and, uh, you know, falling off bags or falling off buildings and stuff and crushing cars. I mean, it's, it's a great way to learn. Um, don't ever restrict yourself. I'm always encouraging and always want to inspire you to always be better than you are today because you can be, um, there really is no limitations except what you limit yourself on. Um, all right. So there's that. And then um, uh, I do have a page, but it's not public. And that one will be re released one day soon. One day soon. Um, it'll be probably released before, let's say, an open house. But that, that'll be a while. And then, of course, I have the Mixology 101 page uh, at the Lodge Bar and Grill. Um, just look up Mixology 101. And it's a cute little uh, series of videos of, bar of the bartenders at the lodge showing how to make drinks in uh, zany ways, you might say. And hopefully, maybe this year, we could bring that back with a new se season of, sh of episodes. Um, I eventually, this was the original intent of me doing my shows, was the White Mountain Update with Doc Skinner, and it kind of turned into 1028 Live. So maybe that will be an offshoot show when I can get some anchors or some reporters to work with me. And then, of course, 1028 Live. If you haven't been there, please go there. And all of them, if you could go like and subscribe and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, you know, I do have a personal or a, a profile page, like a like an actor's thing. I don't even go to it. I don't even know if I have a password for it. But if you see that, just go past that one. All right. So, wow, I've talked a little too long. I just wanted to tell you all about that. Uh, thank you all for joining. We had some more people. That, oh, my goodness. We had a bunch of people join in while I was jibber jabbering. So uh, make sure I get everybody. Wow. 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 Okay. I don't know where to start. Uh, there we go. Uh, Mary, Joanne, Ruben, Deanna, Shandella, Michelle, TJ, Sean, Shannon, Bruce, Shauna. Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Uh, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I feel better. Um, let's see. Jackie Brown. Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Looking good lately, sweetie. Uh, happy for you. Uh, Bill Mutter. Brandy Darling. Tawny. Julia Bosley. Amity. Sh uh, Sh 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 you're going to have to, you have to like tell me how to pronounce because you've been on your twist. Like, I, I, S H A O Lopez. Sorry, I'm just calling you Mr. Lopez. Um, Jimmy Pearson, Jay, Jake uh, Carnholm. Let's see, Jimmy Pearson. There he is again. Hey, hey, da oh, Jimmy Pearson's in uh, in in Europe, by the way. So hello to across the the, the water. Hope to uh, have you guys on soon. Um, him and his son have this amazing show uh, over in Europe, and um, we'll talk about that a little bit later because I want to have them on the show. I don't, I don't want I want to surprise you with them because they're just. Father, son, team, great, great, great guys. Um, Don Wilson, Wendy, and Tina saying hi. So whew, hope I got everybody. Thank you so much for, for checking in with me. Um, be sure to check out my show every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. We got some great guests coming up. Just booked a few more. I'm going to tell you this, and then I'll be out of here. Um, let's see. We, uh, I got Craig Carnahan from rfgear2go.com. He's going to be coming on board with us uh, on Tuesday and uh, talking about sat phones and uh, radio communications. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. And there, 
I don't want to say what we might give away. We might, but it might be at the event. It might be at, it might be at the expo. I don't know. I got to double, double check with them, but you do not want to miss that episode because you want to hear what that's going to be all about. And then, uh, uh, my dear, oh, she's just, she's just a sweetheart. Um, I haven't known her long. I've only met her at the film festival, but I, I knew of her before then. She's been in TV and film, uh, movies and, uh, uh, you know, big names. And she's now branched out and she's producing, directing and acting and writing in her own stuff. She's winning aboard, uh, uh, awards across the board. Her name is Rakafet Abergel. And she is, she's just awesome. Um, I got a little crush on her. She's adorable. I, I just, she scared the heck out of me in her movie though. Jackson Love. Oh, gave, gave, uh, what's her name? Not Norman Bates. Uh, uh, girl from Misery. Uh, scary like that, right? Uh, but an angel, an angel. And I hope to work on some other projects with her in the future, but she will be with us on Thursday. And I've got something itchy in my nose. I'm trying not to sneeze. Oh! Uh, Jimmy just said, we just finished an episode of Hot and Hot Footed Over. <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. I had an itch and I couldn't sneeze. Now my eyes are all watery. Oh. So, um, and then on the 15th, I've got Tony Tangalos and Tony, uh, has a, he's working on a project called Homesteaders Haven up here in, in the mountains and whoo, wow. My eyes all drippy. Sorry about that. Don't you hate it when you have a sneeze and you can't let it go or you can't let it happen? Oh, now I'm all congested. Anyway, he's going to be uh, talking with us about. Uh, this project that he's working on and how you can be involved as well. So lots of cool stuff coming up and I hope that uh, you will like and share and please tell everybody about the whole movie thing because I want everybody on the mountain to know. I want everybody on, on the white mountain uh, talent production group page uh, and, and just, we'll just keep up with each other. And if you guys are, you know, you want to make your own movie, um, that's what I want to encourage too. So this will be a, facil a, a facility. Um, this will be a hub for you as well and for everybody on the mountain. So if you want to make a, a music video, you want to make a movie or a short film, and then you, you have a film festival you can submit it to, by the way. Yeah, yeah every October. Um, so, and submissions is open. So if you do have something like even a music video, you can submit it to the uh, White Mountains Film Festival now or Sholo Film Festival. It's uh, uh, two names. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, you'll have access to these people as well. So now last thing, and then I'm done. I got to go. <laughs> uh, have you ever wondered, wow, how did that house, how did that person's house get put in that movie or that restaurant or that location? Well, if you own a location, you own land, you own a house, you own an alleyway behind a store, uh, a mansion, a trailer, a shack, uh, uh, you know, make great, home, whatever. If you own it and you're like, I would think it'd be cool to have a film crew come in here and have a celebrity actor in my house filming a movie. Uh, then yes, you can do that. And this is how you do it. Here's the secret. All you have to do, and I'm going to pull it up so I can go right along with you guys. You go to www.gofilm az dot make sure it's a com yes dot com all right so once you get there go film az dot com it'll actually forward you to the az commerce dot com slash film dash media page um i just call it film commission but that's not what it is uh i mean it is but it's not what it's called so on that list, if you scroll down, it'll have the film office, it'll have locations, permits, real savings, rebates, and discounts. Business owners, listen closely. We're got, we're, we're, we're got, we have these film companies now wanting to come up here and they are coming, you know, starting in the next couple of months. Um, they're going to be utilizing resources here, hotels, restaurants, clubs, uh, uh, bakeries, whatever, uh, uh, land. Here's the cool thing. The Arizona Commerce Division, this is free of charge. This is free to the free to the people, okay? It's called the Real Savings Rebates and Discount Program, 
R-E-E-L, like a film reel, okay? Real savings. And it's a card. So when these film companies come up here, they got to, they register with the Arizona Film Com Commission office with my boss, uh, uh, Matthew Earl Jones. Then he sends them to me if they're going to film in, my, in our area. And I, I put everything together for them, okay? Now they're going to come with this card. If they go into a restaurant or a hotel or a car rental, if they show this card and that and you are a member, which is free, then it will offer them like 10% off or or something, you know, to that effect, so that it entices them to come to the mom and pops. Okay. We want to bring you the business. Okay. So there's that. Then if you uh, go up and it'll say locations, you can click on that. And it's you scroll down, it says submit a location. This is where all you got to do is 10 photos of, of your home, your restaurant, even in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Take photos of that stuff, everything that you can. The 10 best photos uploaded here. Then um, when a location scout comes through and they're looking for a certain type of home or restaurant or field or whatever, they type it into this, this database. It'll pull it up. They'll pick. If they pick your location and it's in my area, they call me. I call you say, hey, Steven Spielberg wants to film in your house, ETE part five. Then boom, you guys get together and you guys talk. And then whatever you discuss, that's between you guys. All right. So um, that's what I got. I hope you all are excited as much as I am about all this, of what it's going to do and how much fun it's going to be. Um, and. Uh, I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I gotta go to work. I think I'm late. I'm late. Party starts when I show up. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. This is Doc Skinner saying audio goodbye. Audio. I was. <laughs> I had two hours of sleep last night, and I've got to be up till two in the morning again. I need to shrink. <laughs> All right. Well, you all have a great night and great weekend. Um, I hope to see you all uh, soon, God willing, hopefully on Tuesday, if not before then. Um, Y'all have a great weekend. Where's the off button? I, I, I'm just horrible finding this off button. I just never know.